Hello everyone, welcome back to Minecraft with me, Mr. Fox. And I'm here with Glitch. Hi, Glitch. Hello. Now, we're both talking quiet because I'm trying to be considerate to my brother who's sleeping. Because he has work in the morning. Yeah. And I don't know why Glitch is talking. I don't know why I'm whispering. I don't know. I, don't I know think he's whispering. whispering because I'm whispering and he's like, ooh, yeah. this is a trend. Like, yeah. <laughs> Not just, nah. I don't know. Now, we're changing designs, ideas, and all that. Because when we had this, we didn't really have an idea of what we were doing. Yeah. We kind of did, but we really didn't. So, in short terms, we're going to be copying, well, not copying, we're going to be inspired by Decked Out. In the yes. same sort of standard we're going to have. The deck, the card deck building, we're going to have the Ravagers. We're just going to be doing Ravagers this time. We're probably... And we're probably going to stick with potion effects. Because we don't yes. want all this to go to waste. You know, yep. be kind of pointless. Also, it is called Glistering Maze, and I want everyone to know that. The armor and all of these things are going to be removed. More than likely. Yep. Although, technically, we can kill the Ravagers and then have them respawn, but that's a lot of work. And takes away the fun, the intensity. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start building it. Do you wanna do it with red or should we do it with blue? Does the obsidian look weird with black stone bricks? That, no, I don't like that, unfortunately. No. I'm sorry, I kinda liked it more in the walls. Oh no, because then if we put it on the walls, we can actually do this. Add a bit of um, detail thing. Uh huh. I'd love to have soul lanterns in here, but they're too dark. Why well, got it? Move this wall one forward. And it'll be symmetrical. You just move this more towards the middle. No. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> so guys, we're back. And we're gonna give a build update. So this is the starting room. Um, I do believe I'm going to do a time lapse for this. Uh, we got this nice wall decor, because we needed something. That's still dirt. So that is going to be on that side. This is where we will place our cards. Right? And then... I have actually begun on the starting room. Which is looking very, very good. The door is still open at the moment, but there is some work to go through. Oh. Huh. So now it's called. Looks very decky out now. Deck, deck outy. Let's call it that. Yeah, whatever that is. Nice. I wish the item frames could be dimmed. They could be what? Dimmed. I say. Like lowered in brightness. You know, it's pretty silly. So, yeah, and then that's how it looks. It looks so ominous, actually. Uh, do we have another brick? Yeah, that's another brick. Round it out. And there. This will either make or break absolutely everything we've just built. Now, theoretically, oh, the way that I've done it, it shouldn't collapse everything into oblivion. Uh, one there. Now, search your block. Oh, please don't crash. 
Um, what's it called? Glaze one. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna move it over there. Make it all perfect. I don't know how this is gonna place. I really don't. There's a chunk over there missing. But it's going that way. We haven't built that way, have we? Okay. You get it. Oh, there we go. And now we just smash. <laughs> ah, I see we entered through at, the... Look at that! That is... That's kind of magical, in my opinion. <gasps> look! So, we're gonna have to come back come down here. here. And, first of all, make it less shit. Not gonna lie. Hey! We oh, could yeah. make this the start of the graveyard. It looks kind of graveyardy, do you think? Yeah, and look at all the room we have out here. Wow, it's all just been moved down. How far are we from the... One block. What command block? Huh? What do you mean? I'm not saying it... Uh, nothing. <laughs> So, Anyways. we'll be back tomorrow to do some inter interior decorating and destruction, because looking a little bit too perfect. You know, with all the carpets yeah, and... It's looking a bit too bright. Like, if this wasn't decked out, I don't think it'd be smooth. I wonder why. Hmm... I mean, there's no reason. Yeah... Okay, let's remove these, but keep the actual... ...pattern. I'm so looking forward to it. Also, I am already inventing a new thing. Okay, I guess I don't know what to do. Is there any magical symbols I can do? Anything cool? Oh. Oh god. What? What does that even mean? Hello everyone, welcome back to Minecraft with me, Mr. Fox and Glitch Gamer. It is currently the next day, so I'm not whispering anymore. Yay! That was a fun you adventure. Know. Yeah, he's dying. Anyway, I'm gonna show Glitch and everyone what I've been up to last night. And I had to just pull my, just about pull myself away from it. So there's this book. Okay. Let's see if it thinks it's the same. <sighs> so, grizzling maze. I feel like it's supposed to be glizzering. I'll fix that later. Glizzering maze. In this game, you will start by going to the decision room. In this room, you will push a button and receive. A number once given, push another button corresponding with the number on the wall on the left of the chooser. Once you choose the number and push the button, there will be a block summoned in the maze. Worry not, there will be a compass leading to it. Once you find the block, return it to the, to the decision room and receive a random reward with artifacts to put up on your deck wall. If you have any questions, let us know. Is that it? No. So, Let's you know how you wanted a room back here? Yeah. Finally came up with a reason to have one. So, this is the decision room. Which I find difficult to... So, that's... That's not. you receive to take the first... Oh, I guess... To have a number... And I had two twenty-fives. Alright, this is my favorite part. Come in here. Who's in here. Well, you were looking at me for like three seconds and I thought you would keep looking at me. But then the second I said come here, you instantly looked away. Uh, oh. Come in here. Now, before you open the chest... Chests... Yes. I had to pull myself away from this. It was very 
addictive at a certain point. Anyway, I'll pull the first chest. So, building set uncommon. Building set uncommon. Building set rare. Building set unique. Building set. Oh, s s smithy, smithy set. set. Uncommon. Smithy set uncommon. Smithy set. Uncommon. <laughs> That is set unique and magic set common. Magic set common, magic set red, rare, unique, shepherd set unique, shepherd. Are you gonna read all of them? Shepherd and unique, yes. Uh, farm, farm. Also, um, to work through, you know, what this is, because I don't know if you understand what it is fully. Really. You're not leaking. Okay, so basically, you come into this to the decision room, which, right? You'd come over here, uh, you'd, you'd push the button, then you'd get two. Hopefully, it's only two, right? Then you pick the first number. You come to this wall of buttons. Then there'll be signs going along here. There's at least sixteen on the bottom row and then sixteen on the top, right? Then you push the button corresponding to your number. Right, and then when you push the button, this will happen inside the maze. Right? There'll be a lodestone going to this. You go there with like an iron pickaxe given to you by the game. Right? You go there, get off. Go there, you return to this to the decision room. Or where I decide to have the loot giver. And then you drop it in. And then you get loot for your deck. Loot for your deck. Yeah, you know the sets. Yeah, the sets. Will you get three or one or? Uh, probably three if you want. Oh, by the way, there will be another randomizer, so I'll probably have to build another room. Oh, you well, can build it on the other side. Yeah, symmetry. So yeah, that's that's I that's. I believe that the roof is too dark for some reason. Because it's nether brick and there's nothing to it. It's just nether brick. Now I wanted to wait for you. Yeah. Until we made the next room. And I'm not gonna hook up any of the command blocks until we're done. With all the rooms. Do we have enough space on the bottom of the things? To make redstone, to make stuff like that? I don't think we need to make redstone. Are you sure? There's we might need, we might need a couple of lodestones, but that's really it. Because with the method that I've invented, right? We build all the maps, then we go back through. We just add the lodestones that are corresponding to each number. So if you, you know, get number one, you get the number one compass for the number one lodestone. Go there, and then the block would be on top of, you know, where the lodestone is. By the way, there is yes. one... There's one thing I want to show you. What is these halls very normally. So I tried to upgrade... Oh, that's, that's where you plunked yourself. Ah. Uh, he's not going for me. <laughs> not creative. So, I tried to decorate the halls a little bit more so they weren't as bland. I mixed in some concrete powder. I put put some lamps up. I decided I don't want the brown carpet in the middle. I don't know why. I just decided. I got a throne room going here, I guess. Added some iron bars, so the walls weren't so blue. And added some supports. Um, oh, you should have made it out of wood, actually. Mm, well, if you want to, you can change it. It's fully up to you. Then, I don't think I did any other room. But, there is this. So, I was looking at the plans yesterday, and I 
you know, realized that we were doing it slightly wrong. So now we're going to go from the council to the forest instead of the other way around. Which is fine. So the forest is going to be around here. So By the way, wait, wait, wait. what? We're not doing that thing. Uh, uh, excuse me. That thing that I told you the other day. You told me a lot of things yesterday. And the day before that. Oh, I tried to make this wall look interesting. This is art. Modern art? Not 19-something art. You know, I think that they would have had something like that. Just, you know, a painting of a sun with some clouds. Anyway, let's move on swiftly from that. Is this gonna be anything? What was your idea yesterday? What were you saying? That this should be the cemetery. Oh, the graveyard. But... Do we actually know where we can... Oh yeah, we can, because that goes back into the main. Well, we could make it so it rounds around, maybe. Yeah, we can always do the spot next to it, I guess, if you wanted, to make it tiny and shit. But sure. It won't be that bad, <laughs> we can extend it to the side. Uh, I know, I know, it's fine. Um, yeah, so do you want to... Um, I don't think the graveyard I Oh, the four, let's start with the four. You know, I'm here alone, unfortunately, because Glitch Gamer is offline. And I have finished practically everything. I have finished all the rooms that I see fit. And now it's time for everything else. So, I'm about to start working on the Loot Giver. So when you come back from you know, winning. Right. Uh, I need to pick a soul. I need to pick one of these. Right? You're gonna come into this room. To this section. Right? And you're gonna get three of those things out there. Basically it's gonna be another randomizer. How noisy is this game? As you can hear, it's not noisy. Because all the hoppers are filled. Not all the hoppers, all the droppers. Everything in here is sorted. So, I'm gonna make another... Room. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Did, did we just get it? I think we just got it. Oh, yes. Alright, guys. Well, that's it. So now, what we do is we'll just triangle on all these items. You want to just give it a minute or two? You really want to make sure everything's out of there. Okay, everything's out. Now, what you probably want to go ahead and, and install is a way to turn this off. Because right now, if I had my sound on, it would give you a headache within 30 seconds, if not a lot less. I'd say maybe about 12. So there. And then if you want the lever flipped up like I do, you can always just do that. So, that's basically it. It works. So now, the next part, and maybe the final part, 
is to hook up either 16 or more. Now, actually, Glitch said he wanted, because I asked him this earlier. Glitch said he would want three in each. Um, do it. Now, I did ask him on Discord if he wanted the snowy mountain to remain. I'm going to ask him again. Actually, I can go ahead and do this, can't I? Because even if he does want the snowy mountain, like, I can just add it in tomorrow. So. Did I put all the no I did put all the numbers back. So, three. You're gonna have, you're gonna have three artifacts per. So, that's cool. So, um. Three per biome, which is fine, right? So basically, the point is, it is on or off. I'm guessing. I'm guessing, on. Yeah, on. Now, what's supposed to happen? Is have the randomizer on, you'd come over here, you'd push that button, you'd get two numbers, that's what it wants to give, but you'd take the first, right, then you put the other one back there, right, then with your number, like let's say I got one, right, I'd come all the way down here, and I'd push number one, what does it do? What does it do? Well, basically, it will give you a compass. I suppose we should set one of these up. Now, the question is... Do they stack? No, they don't. just annoying. Let's let's try this out. So I get my duic. Right, and then I run away from that. Run right into here. No, obviously I know where it is. Right. Now, hold on. Let's re-enter this room. Okay. Let's... Okay. So let's say I'm following my compass. It doesn't see me. I'd really have to frick up hard enough like that in order to get killed. But you see, right here? Oh, you don't even need a pickaxe. Right, um. Why are people scared of these in Decked Out? They're very easy to outrun. Right, and then what you do is you run all the way back to the loud ticking. You'd come into here, then you run out, and that's basically what you do. Well, guys, this is the end of the glittering maze. 
build. Well, kind of, in a way. But there is one thing I have to do. Um, oh, I shouldn't show you everything. Although I could show you everything in this room. Because I'm going to leave everything in there and pass that door as a surprise for when I play it in my survival videos. And I don't think you'll have to wait too long for that. I don't think so. Because, I mean, I do have all the videos up to date at this point. This video that you're watching right now actually did take quite a few days. So, I mean, it took some dedication. Anyway, to properly explain everything, this is the thing that you'll find in the maze. Come back here, put it in there, get three artifacts. Then, in order to get a key, you must put one shulker box filled with ten stacks in here. You'll get a key that comes right out here. Right, you'll take the key, bring it around to this door, put in that barrel, then you will, actually before you do that, come over here, push this button, get numbers, take the number that you want, push a button, then go to the door with the key, put in the key, go through the door, set your spawn, go through the other door, enter the game, come out of the game hopefully live, then you can come back out, um, put that in there. Also if you have any unwanted artifacts, put them in there, and then you get one gem. Also then you put your cards right here, and the main objective is to get four in a row. Obviously you can only get four going up. So three fours, so you don't have to really decide. This is the entry book, just explaining everything. And that's the last two things I have to do. So put artifacts in shulker boxes, you know, make them all organized, put them in the randomizer. And then buy another card holder with gems to be decided. And I know I didn't say in the last clip that I'm going to wait until Glitch gets online so I can say bye, but I think I'm actually just going to end it there. Um, yeah, just imagine him saying bye. Anyway, he'll be in the video where I play this, so yeah. Anyway guys, um, I need a thumbnail. It's been really fun building this actually. I've really been into it. Probably the set things more. Are filled with sets. I may have gone overboard. Which one is my favorite? I think it's the door set. I had to add a door set. I couldn't I couldn't leave it alone. But you know, it's there. So yeah, that's why I want the ability to um buy multiple card holders and that's where the price dropped quite a few times because it started on 1000 then it went to 14 and now it's on 10 so because <laughs> i want you to be able to play the game a lot because there's a lot of sets and it's really got to be really hard so guys if you all enjoyed don't forget to leave it a like if you haven't already don't forget to feel free to subscribe and we'll catch you all in the next one Bye bye